Hi, Shock Mesh fans. Going back to the 80s horror with Linda Blair and Hell Knight. Let's find out about this Gork Boy. Welcome to Hedla Hell Knight. Pledging a sorority. Okay for the bar stand, That, of course, is Linda Blair on the right. She plays Marty. Welcome to Garth Manor. In order to be a member of Alpha Sigma Rho, one has to do what? Mr. Reed? To stay in Garth Manor one night, Mr. President. Very good, Jeff. And why is this night so special? Ms. Dunsmore. Because 12 years ago, Raymond Garth murdered his family here and then committed suicide. Some history. So finally, she delivered a little gork named Anne. Andrew never spoke a word in his first 14 years. He just made these grunts and groans like the sounds of wild animals. Andrew. Andrew is still believed by some to be living somewhere within this house. So the four pledges are locked in for six hours. We'll see you for a dawn. About six out. This is Seth and Denise. They are kind of pairing off. Is that what you're after? Huh? Is that what you're interested in? Sex. Our other two, Marty and Jeff, seem to be hitting it off as well. You know, my car has been making these pain noises. I think it's the valves. I know. I don't tell anybody. I'm a... Of course, a few of the others are going to come in to try to scare them. They heard a scream. What happened, Wes? My name is Seth, darling. And I don't know, but it looks like we have a little trick-or-treat going on around here. It's coming from the third floor. Well, one of the persons who was sneaking in to scare them suddenly gets attacked by something and dragged into, like, a hole. She doesn't fare much better here, either. Another one has uh, set up this weird ghostly image, which actually looks pretty cool. Hey, Peter. They gotta spend the night in here. If they get scared out, then they can't join. This is the guy who wired up all the electronics in the house. I should say that was him. Later on, a body's found. dude tries to escape, but as with most of these movies, once you find a dead body, you're usually next. The guy manages to escape and hold on to his life for an extra two minutes or so. The sexy British chick, Denise, is our next victim. Seth comes back from taking a whiz. They all run outside and Seth decides to try to climb the uh, fence to very sharp points. Incredibly, he makes it. Now I find this funny. He wants his boots. Instead of just shoving them underneath where there's plenty of room, they have to toss it. So Marty and Jeff stay behind and they decide to go back to the house. And they see the body. And another one. <laughs> Seth has no help from the cops. You don't understand, this is for real. We were up at Garth Manor and somebody was killed. Hey Ross, I got another one for the tank for you here. No, no, this is no stunt. Marty and Jeff hang out in one of the bedrooms not seeing something rising from the floor behind them. But they see it now. Thankfully, Jeff managed to find a pitchfork. As Marty almost pops out of her dress. 
Well, whoever it was, or whatever it was, collapsed. I guess went back into the floor. Weren't expecting that. Naturally, they decide to follow it. This is why people don't survive in horror movies. They find a table full of bodies. Some old, some new. The creature comes after them, but they do manage to find a way to get outside. And, at least for the moment, lock it in. Now, Seth may have not had any luck with the police department. However, he did steal one of their rifles. It was very easy for him, and now he's back. And he has problems almost from the get-go. But believe it or not, Seth manages to get the upper hand here. Of course, it's not dead. But he still gets them. I come here by myself. I killed him out by the pond. You should have seen him, man. He was like an animal. <laughs> Marty tries to go and retrieve Seth's rifle. And the chase is on. We finally get our first clear views of the creature. Gork boy. Marty manages to escape, but Jeff isn't quite so lucky. She manages to get down. Jeff is no more, of course, so now she's running. She did manage to uh, find the key to the gate. She's able to get out. She drives off. Now when she left, she backed into the gate and broke it. And now with the creature on top of the car, she knows exactly what to do. Creature's dead. Sun starts to come up. Marty's alive. Our movie's over. Alright, let's talk about Hell Knight, 1981 horror movie starring Linda Blair and one of the Van Pattens. It's not Vincent, which one was it? It was Vincent. So anyway, uh, we have four kids who are pledging, I guess, sorority or fraternity. There's two boys, two girls, and uh, they have to spend the night in Garth Manor. I guess this is Hell Knight, the hazing night. Garth Manor is a place where um, uh, this guy killed his entire family 12 years earlier and then he committed suicide. However, apparently there's this boy named Andrew, the Gork boy, who uh, may or may not have survived and may still be living in that house, as some people say. So anyway, they have to spend the night in this mansion for six hours and a uh, haunted mansion type thing, and then they'll be pledged and they'll, they'll make the sorority slash fraternity. I don't know, I guess. Anyway, so they lock them in there, and um, right away some of the kids come back to try to scare them out of there. Um, they have the place hall wired up to have like ghostly sounds and images and screams and that sort of thing. But unbeknownst to them, there really is Andrew the Gork Boy hiding in the basement somewhere in the dwell cellar. I don't know what, but he's got this tunnel system and everything. So anyway, he starts basically killing, killing them off one by one. Uh, our two, uh, our four people kind of pair off into two couples um, one of them gets beheaded. One of them manages to get out of there and escape. He goes to the police, but they're no help. They don't believe him. They think it's just a fraternity prank. So he, on his way out the door, he grabs one of their rifles, uh, like you could do that, um, grabs one of their rifles and takes off with it and goes back to the house. Meanwhile, back at the house, all the pranksters that went in to try to scare them are, are dead. Um, one of them got her head chopped off. Uh, actually, two people got their head chopped off, I guess. Uh, two of the women. The girls did, but not the boys. Hmm. Um... And then uh, 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 Marty and uh, 
Marty the girl, Linda Blair, and uh, Jeff are in the room. And this, some, this image rises behind him. This figure comes out of the floor, basically. And there's a rug on top of it. Turns out, and they stab him with a pitchfork. And then it just disappears again. Turns out there's like a hole in the floor that leads to this tunnel system. They stupidly go down there. And then they find this like table with dead bodies all around it. Um, that our Gork Boy has been keeping. And they manage to escape out of there. The creature chases them. They get outside. Eventually, they're up like almost on the roof. Uh, the creature breaks in. We see what it looks like. It kills uh, Jeff by tossing him out the window. Uh, Marty gets down. She manages to find the keys from one of the pranksters and gets out. Gets in a car, takes off. Turns out the creature's on the roof of the car, though. So she takes the car back to the house and slams into the gate, which was broken. It's now instead of a gate like this, it's like this. And it's all pointy and sharp. And he drives. she drives the creature right into it, impales it, and kills it. And that's our movie. So anyway, that is Hell Knight. Pray for day. Now, um, I saw this movie back on cable, probably in 1982, 83, and that range. I saw it a few times. Uh, not a ton, but enough that I liked it well enough. Um, it's a little long for a movie like this. It's 102 minutes, which probably could have been about 15 minutes shorter. Um, but it's all right. The only thing that's missing really is nudity. Uh, there was a girl, uh, Denise, the British girl, was in a bra. But other than that, um, yeah, no nudity in this movie at all. So it could have used some. Linda Blair had done some nudity, although I don't think she did. She, she actually, she, she did some nudity, but I don't think she'd done any yet by the time she made this movie. Um, she may have been about maybe 19 when she made this. So she could have, but who knows? But she didn't do it. But she did wear a busty outfit, though. So we just see, all, see a lot of cleavage in there. So, But anyway, that is Hell Knight. It's got some gore scenes. It's got a couple of decapitations, which is kind of cool. Um, I know it's available on Blu-ray. I don't know who put it out. This DVD I've had for a very long time. It's put out by Anchor Bay. It has audio commentary from Linda Blair, as well as the director and producer, to the producers as well. Um, it's, a nice, it's a nice version, put it that way. But I'm guessing the Blu-ray might have a lot of this stuff on it, too. But anyway... Check it out. I'm sure it's basically a classic 80s horror movie. Um, entertaining enough. I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. So let me know what you think about it and leave some comments down below. It's Hell Night. Watch it. Bye.